did you see Ralph's leg over there? How funny? No. <laughs> he lagged and didn't get back to the head string. <laughs> Well, here's another great match coming up between Shane and Dennis. I don't know who to pick here either. You can't hardly bet against either one of these guys. So, I believe I'm pulling it for Shane, our American team. But this is, you know, this is a coin flip again, Ken. There's no, uh, there's no favorite here. Shane might be a hair of the favorite, but I don't know. You know what, and I, I don't know that I've ever said this in all the years I've, I've done Shane's stuff. I'm going to make him a slight underdog here, and I'll tell you why, Bobby. I don't think he's in a good mental position right now. No, I fully understand that. And I know Dennis, you know, had that tough, tough loss in the challenge match and et cetera, but I think Shane is letting things fester inside of him. He's been clearly off his game all week in all disciplines, and that's the only reason I'm going to give Dennis the edge here in this yeah, match. Yeah, I, I pretty much agree with that because Shane has been playing real erratic this, this whole week. Right. Now let me just bring the audience, too, up to date on the standings of the Group C players. Uh, Dennis is 1-0, and, oh and Shane is 0-1. Oh if Dennis wins this, Shane is not going to have any chance to get through the group. Ralph is playing Kevin on the outer table. Ralph is 1-0. and Kevin is 0-1. So if Ralph wins and Dennis wins, they're both 2-0. and And they will be playing each other tomorrow for the right to win the group. If, and uh, the other two is gone. If, that, if that's what happens, yeah. you're right. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll be able to have a, a clearer look at the possibilities once the round is over, but if Dennis, if uh, Shane has any chance at all to get through the group, he has to win this match, and the same goes for Kevin Chang. Okay, I probably, I got you. Okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, Dennis is starting off with a run out here. He'll be shooting the three, the five, and the deuce after these two balls down here. I think he'll shoot the three in the side, the five in the opposite side, the deuce, and then the eight in the corner after he pockets these two, six and seven. What do you think? I think it depends on how good he can get on the three from where he yeah, is. Yeah. And it's a possibility uh, he could swing I mean, the five's here. a great key ball before the eight because if it goes in either side, you're right on the eight ball in either corner. And the two lays good to do that, but I think oh, look he's. Look at this! Look at this! Well, he overcooked that a bit. About two feet. Yeah. Now it looks like he's going to have to play the three in the side. Yeah. Bobby, is he thin enough to hit the long rail with inside, short rail with inside, and spin back up? Yes. Okay, because yes. he he doesn't want to risk going around the the group of balls down there. There's just too much traffic. And unless he plays in the corner, he can't hold the cue ball. So well, I, think it, I, think it's, I think it's I think it's two rails with inside, yeah. inside the nine ball. Just like that. Right. And he hit it too hard. Yeah, he may have the two in the side if it keeps rolling. And Pretty fortunate there. Yeah, this actually lays <laughs> real, real good for shape on the five yeah, in the side too. Into the Just rail. Draw yeah. it into the middle diamond, right? But I also have a feeling, just as we saw in the last round, I mean, the last round, Bobby, got over in just about an hour. Those are the shortest matches we've had all week. It now, is. granted, they were both nine to three victories, but everything was run out pool. Oh, look, look this. boy, look how badly he missed that ball. I mean, that's a bad miss for Dennis. Didn't even threaten the point. Yeah, he missed it a half inch. Well... This is, this is the gift from the gods that Shane was hoping for. He, I'm sure he had no thought that he was going to come to the table in this rack. And not only can he steal one here, but he can open up the match maybe feeling good about himself and trying to get in that better frame of mind than, than he's been in. Meanwhile, on table number two, it is one-to-one. -one and... Uh, as they rack in this match, we'll, we'll toggle the camera back over to the other match for you 
give you as much coverage from the outer table as we can because that match is equally as important as this one. Bobby Cotton, I came up last night. I was sitting in my room watching the replays and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and I come up with a pool trivia question that I'm going to ask you here in the next uh, rack or so, just for entertainment purposes and maybe give the audience a little something to think about here. I'll ask the question and then wait a couple minutes before we come with the answer. You, this is something you might know. Maybe. Well, maybe and might are kind of the same thing. I'm not going to say I'd be surprised if you knew the answer, because you know so damn much about pool, I don't think there's much I can trip you up on. And this ain't a trick question either. I've been around forever. <laughs> I thought it was longer. Yeah, it feels longer. Didn't you invent dirt? My, yeah, my, yes. All right. We'll see if we can switch to the other table while the balls are being racked, and you can see Kevin at the table one to one. But I'm going to go ahead and ask you this question. Even if you I know the answer, answer don't blurt answer. it out just yet. I want the audience to have a couple of minutes. Why, on a pool table, is the kitchen called the kitchen? Oh, boy. So you, you can think about that for a while. I tell you what, we're going to let this whole rack play out, and we're going to come with the answer at the end of this next rack. Give everybody at home a a chance to stew on that one for a while, and you. I can already tell you I don't know. Okay. I, well, I appreciate the honesty. I have heard I have heard this before, and I, I think. But when I, I tell you, you'll say, oh, yeah, I remember hearing that. No, I think I have heard it, okay. but I can't, I can't. Why is the kitchen called the kitchen? I hate that I don't know this <laughs> Well, you're going to know, know one more thing than you did, than you knew before you got here today. Yes. And if we can learn something every day, we're we're doing good. All right. Let's see if the SVB break has returned. Well, not too square on the hit. Made two or three balls, but he lost the cue ball, and that's why he has only one shot. And that's the four ball. Maybe even. On a back cut, I don't think it goes anywhere else. It may go by the six, but you ain't playing it there. That's the only pocket he's got, and it's the only shot he's got. This ball's makeable. I don't know what Well, I'm no, it's, it's makeable, and actually solids is the group you want just because of the nine ball tied up there behind the uh, two ball in the rack. But where's the white ball going? It looks like it's going right at the seven. The maybe deuce. the deuce, maybe, maybe right. the deuce, the depends on how he cues it. Yeah. He's got to hit it with a low right ball. No, he's hitting it center right. These are so hard when you're this close to the ball and you've got to shoot to a blind pocket. I like it. It's all shot. field. Yeah, but it's a field shot. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd rather shoot this as I'm along straight in. Oh, hell yes. Because you right you're close now. to the object Get ball. Get me close, I'm good. Right. 2-1 on the other table, Kevin Chang ahead of Ralph. Yeah, I thought he might be, be cutting that thin enough to miss the nine altogether. And there's he, he didn't Tied really get, didn't get much of a reward for a pretty good shot. He's going to have to shoot the six. Or the three might go. I don't know if the three, if the three goes in the side, that's certainly a shot, but it doesn't go in the corner. And it's the only other ball he can pocket is the six. Or I don't think he, even if he could make the seven, he's not going to shoot that. He's looking at the red ball, so I've got to think it goes. And if it does, it's going to help him a lot. The whole question is, can he get in there to make the five? 
without having to move anything. Why is it called the kitchen? How can I not know this? <laughs> Bugging me. I've heard, I think I've heard this answer. I'll know if I've heard it when you say well, it. Well, of course you will. You know what I mean? I, but I'll be honest, if I've never heard it, well, I've never right. heard it. Now you wanted to shoot the two. He probably still can. I think he's going to try to break the five off the 14 there with the six ball or the one ball. Well, of course, they're the two closest balls, but I actually like trying to do it off the one because the six is right in the middle of the table and it'll mm -hmm. have more pockets as if it's if it has to be your insurance ball. Could, would he risk going two rails at the five now? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Got to get the seven out of there while you're here. You got an angle? Looks kind of straight. Might be able yeah, to punch it to the long rail. Yeah, yeah, and bounce out. Right. If he gets any kind of decent angle on either the six or the one, he'll be breaking the five out next. No, he's not going to do it now unless he unless the five goes and we've been deceived. I think the, it looks to me like he can spin the ball in. I think the five if he goes. Was, yeah, being close to it, he can he can throw it in. Yeah. He, Full he hit with left. Yeah. yeah, no problem. One in the corner and stop. Six in the side, eight in the side. Two for Shane, none for Dennis. Ready for the answer? Yes. All right. Back in the earlier days of pool, when people first started to be able to get pool tables put in their homes, most of the time, because the way homes were built, and this is maybe even late 1700s or uh, 1800s, the way the home was structured, is the pool table used to actually go in the dining room and serve as the dining room table with a you know a mm -hmm. plank or something on it and the dining room was always the next room adjacent to the kitchen and when you broke the balls you would always shoot away from the kitchen so you wouldn't risk something going into the kitchen while they were cooking so hence the end of the table that was nearest to the kitchen in the house became known as well, I'm going to be down at the kitchen and shooting, and that's why really? the kitchen I've never is heard called that. the kitchen. kitchen. How do you find that out? Just I, I, I read some billiard history. Wow, I never, I have, I've never heard that. But before. doesn't it make sense? Oh yeah, totally. You know, yeah, because know, how, how else would you come up with with calling it the kitchen? I know. Now, if anybody has a different answer. Um, uh, send, Keep it to put, it, put, put it on a hundred dollar bill and mail it to me. Yeah, I've never heard that, but that totally makes sense. Yeah, that's funny. How many rails are there on a pool table? Six. Wrong. How many? Four. One, two, three, four. Two, two long rails and two short rails. It's all the same rail. Because well, actually, the rail is the wood. The cushion is the rubber. There are six separate cushions, but there's only four rails. Now we interchange rail and cushion when we talk about he's going to okay, rails or four rails. Okay, where was Detroit from? Um, <laughs> Chicago. You have you ever heard of him? Of course, Detroit. yeah, I've heard of him. Detroit. I tell you something. He 
You're talking about a character. Well, a lot of work ahead of time in this race. How many there? That's a trick question. Oh, heard. and you never asked anybody a trick question <laughs> or come up with a prop that uh, they're going to fall right into either, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And see, I'm not even setting you up saying, I'll bet you don't know the answer to this. Yeah. I'm just I'm just educating you. I appreciate well, it. That's all right. I've learned a lot from you over the years. Most of it's worthless information, yeah. but, I've, but I've learned a lot. Yeah, yeah. Kevin is up 3-1 on Ralph over there, and that's a big match for Ralph. He knows uh, the situation. He knows if he can go 2-0 into his next match that uh, he's playing to win the group. Mm -hmm. And the same here with Dennis, of course. But this match we expect to be, you know, pretty snug um, and to take nothing away from Kevin Chang. But you, you had to make Ralph probably a 6-4 a favorite over there where this one here is almost pick them. But you can't take anybody lightly, and then not that Ralph is doing that. It's just uh, unusual to see him fall behind this uh, early in the match because he's been playing so well. Well, that's a big shot here. Yep. Better have a good plan on where he's going into that 11. That's pretty good. I got like the eight. It. Got the eight out in space. But mm. now, can he can he shoot the five? Can he hit he, the five? He, he can't hit the five. Yeah, he can't hit the five. But the six doesn't go, and he can't get at the one ball. That was the pretty only. Pretty unlucky. That, that was the only. Yeah, it was the only part of that shot, Bobby, that uh, could have caused him a problem. He looks like he's going through the gap. I mean, that would, how fortuitous would that be if he could get through the gap and pocket the ball? I think he's got to twist it a little. He could foul here. He did. I knew he because he had a bend and barely missed the 15. Yeah, it was so close. Yep. And it's, that should cost him this rack too. Ten ball to get on the eight. Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't know what he's doing. I just shot the other stripe down. Well, there. I'll shoot this in the side now. Come back about where you are for the nine, and that leads you right to the ten. Yeah. Maybe even draw into the cushion. go to the other side of the eight if it's uh, natural to do that rather than over and back. Right. Nothing wrong with that. It's all started because of Dennis missing that first two ball the first game when all the balls were sitting good. Right. Missed the two in the side uh -huh. badly. We can switch cameras while they're racking them up here. Kevin's at the table with a 3-1 lead. Thank you, Vincent. And it looks like he's got a good opportunity here. 
although uh, I see he's looking at the two ball. It's just I don't know what those other two balls are in the upper left part of the screen there. If I can stand up, maybe I can see them. Looks like the ball closest to the pocket's the one ball, but I can't see. I can't see the ball that's behind it. Who is that? That's Gene Miller. He's uh, from San Francisco area. Um, I've done, he, he and I did a lot of tournament directing together in all the Reno Opens and all those years we were over there at the Sands and he does a lot of it uh, in the Bay Area. He doesn't, uh, doesn't travel you know, much at all, but uh, a terrific guy, Gene Miller. All right, Shane with a chance to go 4-0 up here. Now, you didn't hit him too square last time. The cue ball went off to the side. Let's see if it comes straight back this time. A little better. Balls are dropping. Looks like the eight got away from the six. These two stripes lined up dead in the corner here. He's got either group to shoot because I think he could shoot the 12 in the side or this combination. I like, I like, I like the like solid, solid, so I know you do, and I do too because those two balls right by the eight, you can probably uh, not have to run into anything to, to take the solids off here. I think I'd start with the seven, and I might leave the four for last using the five to get me to the four. Uh, he's going to take the four right now, and that's yeah, that's okay too because he can still use the he can use the five or the one to get him to the eight. I actually like the one better. I think he's going to shoot the five next and then pick off these other two. And balls. then pick off the deuce and the, and three, the three, and then the one, and you can sl you can just go diagonally down the table off the one ball. I shoot the three right now. Yeah, absolutely. Then the two in the other two corner. in the other corner by the one. Bank bank. Then the one and the five. Three, two, one, five, right, Ken? I, I'm not sure if the last two were going to be one, five, or five, one. If the cue ball was right where it is now, the five's fine for, for the cue ball. He I don't know why he did that. Uh, he may go five, two, one now. He was playing for He may even two. leave the two. I mean, it, it's pretty hard to go wrong here. It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. Either. You don't have to. You run these balls any which way you, any ball you shoot you're out. Right, pretty hard to go wrong here. How you, you know, there's no way to mess this up. You know, I mean, you I wouldn't have shot. I wouldn't have done that. Well, I think if he just leaves the cue ball right around where the deuce is, he may draw it six inches to the right. Now oh, he's got. Now easy. he can pull over. Yeah. Right. He just didn't want to have to go forward on the five. But. Tic tac toe and four to nothing. And Kevin Chang is four one up on Ralph. Ralph is just finishing racking on the other table, so if Vincent will switch over there for us, we'll be able to see the break shot while Dennis racks him here. And Ralph better win this rack because it's starting to get to be a little bit too much distance between him and his opponent for his comfort. And Ralph made a ball. Got quite a bit of congestion up there at the head end of the table, but we'll switch back over here for Dennis's break. Trailing 4-0. Nothing. Nothing. If the five goes, I want solids, even if I got to shoot the four ball first. If the 14 goes in the side, 
it you does. can get away with taking stripes. If the eight goes, I'm taking the stripes. Yeah, if the eight goes, and if the ball and the stripe by the side, uh, I think it's the yeah. 14. If it yeah, goes, goes, yeah, he's looking at the eight. That's the key to which group you take here. Even if he took solids, Bobby, he could move the six by shooting the four, you know, eventually get it out of the way. And it, it looks like the five also goes in that upper right corner. Maybe tight, but it, uh, it looks like it goes. So it really is just a question of does he does he want to move the six or does he feel comfortable enough shooting stripes and sliding the eight ball by the six ball? We'll, we'll know shortly. Boy, what are you doing there? Look at this roll. What are you doing there, kid? Well, he moved. He wanted to move the eight. He moved the eight. Oh, he did. But he looked where he wound up. Boy, that is like one in a million. I'm telling you. How yeah. does this ball wind up in that spot? Can you believe what? You couldn't take ball in hand and do this. That's really unbelievable how this ball wound up in this spot. Yeah, he's he's pretty screwed right here. Can even can even hit a stripe. He can hit that one by the side, but it ain't going nowhere. He can't make it nowhere. He's got no pot. He's got, and no, he got shot. no place to hide either. No, he's got no shot. There's nowhere to hide. He's got no shot here. None. I mean, here's where you almost might have to risk. Give up, tie up the two and the three, and give them ball in hand. I mean, the ones right there for him to open them up with. But got no shot. He can't mass say around the one and get behind the twelve ten, can he? No. Nope. Luckily he's ahead for it or nothing. Yeah. So that takes a little of the pain out of it. Yeah, but <clears throat> I think Dennis is gonna inflict a little pain after this shot. And you know, we've seen this all week, Bobby. One mistake, the guy gets out on your break, he breaks and run, you break dry, he gets out, breaks and runs, and there's four games in ten minutes. So this is what I think is if, if he could possibly sp slow spin this and just try it. to hit the 10 and stay behind the 12. No, no he, he can't, can't. can't afford to. He can't he's, he, all right, he, this is, he's called this cross corner. I don't know if this is uh, more wishful thinking than anything else, but he's got to go all out to make it because I don't think there's any chance he doesn't sell something out here given the position of these, of these solids. I think he wanted to move the five ball, and he sure did. But I think he wanted the 14 to tie up with the five. And it didn't, and it didn't block the path for the three either. <laughs> I think I'd shoot the two here first if it goes. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, Ralph got out, and it's 4-2. Kevin's racking over there, so we'll stay here right now while Dennis is starting to go through the solids. 4-2 over the other table, Kevin breaking.
got to contend with this three ball here, which he's. Yeah. I think the seven gets him there. I, I think he's going to shoot the seven, then the three, then the one. He's got to get. Yeah, it. that's what I would do. Yeah. Seven, three, one. <laughs> yeah, leave the six, four for your last two. If you can, depending on his angle on the seven, I think he's got the angle here to hit the short rail and come at it, don't you? Looks like it. And even if he's a little straight on the three, he like you said, the ones, the one, the one, the ones laying pretty good. I think he didn't have enough he room. Probably he's didn't have the angle, right? Well, now he's got to take the four and the seven because you don't want to take one, come up here, and then have to go back down there. So he's just going to play for the good angle on the <laughs> seven here to go to the three next. And he has done that. Now, I wouldn't get fancy here and try to bump the back of the nine. I would just float Roll it and get up. my shape. Yep. Well, I guess well, he's going to play it down t downtown. Less risk, and if the three's not on the rail, it plays a lot easier. You better watch that magic rack over there where he had yeah, a boy. We've seen this shot missed several times this like week, this Bobby. I don't like this pattern whatsoever. Well, the three was always going to be tough to get on. Boy, he hit it good, too. Yeah, he did. He barely missed at 14. Well, Shane kind of threw one away there. He had a chance to really tighten the noose around Dennis's throat. And he let up on it just a little bit. So. Oh, boy. One ball. I believe that that's the 11 down here on the rail, and it is. Mm -hmm. I might, I'm taking the stripers. Well, <coughs> the only saw that he can shoot is the two, two on the side, yeah. and, that, and that's ugly. And look where the three's all messed up yeah. down there. He's looking to see how he can move the three out of the way by shooting the 10 underneath the five. He has a little angle here. He can kind of do what he wants with the cue ball. too far, I think, to play the 10 and open up the three. Is the 14 three nine wired? I don't think so. Well, I got it looks pretty close. Uh, I think it's cutting the nine into the rail. Is it? Yeah. You'd have to back cut the 14 A little to bit, cut yeah. the three. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's thinking about going into something right here off the 11 off the 13. I don't like that. Can he get the cue ball back on the other side of the 10 where he originally wanted it to break those open? Or is he just going to play for the 15 ball from here? Well, the 15 goes. 
Yeah, you think you can get the cue ball in there? Go straight across. Okay, well, if it go does. Straight across, a little bit <coughs> of the left thing, just go straight across. Yeah. Just like this, and okay. then, he, then he's going to be able to hit the three. He gets off yeah, the but he's got to move the three out away from the nine. Just stab it a little bit. Yeah, but you got to, if you do that, you got to make sure you control your white ball. Let's see, I think the three is going. The three could cover part of the nine here, and the cue ball could float the other side of the five. I think he does have to give this a little pop, Bobby. Move that three up, up table here. Good speed on that shot. Mm -hmm. uh, he's pretty much solved the, solved the rack. Straight in on the 12 is going to be fine. Even if it's not quite straight, it's still OK. <coughs> Ralph at the table over there. Two, three inches. Well, I guess if a 12 went, he didn't really have too much to worry about then. Shane seems a lot more composed this morning, Bobby, even though at the beginning of the match I told you I thought maybe internally he was having some conflict that might have affected him. But the way the match has unfolded so far, he's, uh, he's feeling pretty comfortable. I wonder why they can't make those numbers a little bit more friendly. They, ju they just need they need bigger holes in the numbers. Aggravating. Well, actually, if you just take your time, it's not aggravating. It's not that easy. I mean, it's not that hard to do. But uh, it, 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 it almost requires two hands. <laughs> Shane's leading four and a half to one. Now he's leading five to one. Let me fix the scoreboard. Maybe he heard me. I ah, saw it from over there. Ralph failed to get out in the other table. As you can see, Kevin's over there shooting solids. Ralph had two stripes left in the eight ball to make it four to three, and he missed the stripe that's hanging in the lower right corner. Turned the table over to Kevin. Look what he did. And now Kevin's, Kevin's got problems now, too. And again, he's got no place to hide the cue ball because he's got a hanger. Ralph has a hanger. <coughs> we can... We, all right, we're back over here for Dennis's break. I'll let you know what happens on table two. Good solid hit there. Got a nice choice here of groups. They're still dropping. Four, six, nine. Three balls on the break. Mm -hmm. Looks like everything's got a pocket. I like the solids, Bobby, because there's uh, only one solid up here near the eight. But that if you take the solids, you're limiting your pockets for the uh, eight ball. If you take the stripes, you're going to clear the nine and have both those corners. And I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Fifteen in the side next. Either roll forward it's or funny the how they can, Go ahead. they can shoot off one ball and the whole layout looks different. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. now look how easy the stripes look by him just shooting sure. that one ball off, you know? It's funny. Well, this is the work right here because I, I think I, I'd like to get straight in on the 10 on the side. Exactly. I shoot the 10, the 15, the 9, and then the 12. 
Oh, if if I got straight in on the ten, I'd shoot the nine next after the ten. Now he's not straight in on the ten, and he can't see the nine. Now he's got to go down the table with this. Yeah. That was, that yeah, was that's a position error right really there. Really big mistake there. Well, maybe. Well, boy, he's he's lining up like he can make it. It's yeah. sure deceiving to yeah, us, but if he if he's shooting it, he can make it. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> and the fact they didn't have to do much with the cue ball there made it a little easier too. Yeah, into these a are the tight two pocket. balls are going inside. I believe. He yeah, but paint. he wants to get down far enough on the, on this uh, 14 so he doesn't have to go up table for the 10. A little out of line again. I think he's got to go to the short rail, Bobby. I don't know if he can just hold the float this. Or go into the long rail and come out and shoot the 10 in the corner. No, no. Well, he's going to shoot this in the side. You better hope he don't roll too far coming back. That well, ball, you know? I, I, I think I think he's just either going to go straight up between the 5-6 or he's going to go to the long rail on the right. I like straight up here. And if you do go too far, you've got the 10 in the well, corner. Perfect, too. Look at yeah. that speed. Yeah. Again, not, uh, not completely conventional here, but he got the job done. And uh, four nothing has turned into five two, with him breaking. Yeah. No, it's Shane's break. Shane's break. Yeah. Meanwhile, let's get back over to Kevin and Ralph because that game hadn't finished yet. Remember, Kevin had that ugly position. He's going <coughs> for the jump cue. Is he? What's he doing? No, here? no, he's shooting that. Oh yeah, he's on the eight. Yeah, he's on the eight. Those are Ralph's two stripes out there. Yeah, I thought he was getting a jump cue. I couldn't see if he could hit it from here. No, I think he went for powder. I think he's. I think he can play it at, at a minimum. He can play it in the corner if he can't make it in the side. But this would be pretty big for Kevin. They said Ralph was Ralph was running out, and he missed one of those stripes. He had two stripes in the eight ball left. At least it's his break. But he would have had a chance to tie the matchup. Now he's facing the three game deficit, just as Dennis is. Both matches are 5 2. And both guys that are trailing are the players that need the matches the worst. Now, if he runs out here, then runs out in his break, we got a close match again. Yep. Well, I think you're going to start with the one on the side here. All the solids have pockets. I mean, all the stripes have pockets, too. Uh, it's just that the solids look like they play a little bit start, more comfortably. Yeah, it's starting easier unless. Other than that, if you don't shoot the nine, I like the one. Yeah. I'm like you. Come down here to be shooting probably the five and six next. Yeah, I would think so. He just then one or wants to be careful here. Make sure he picks his spot precisely for the next shot. <coughs> Certainly doesn't want to run anywhere near that. Uh, 13. 13 ball, right. And by sure, he'd like to save the two for the last ball. Mm -hmm. He's trying I like, to bump, I like bumping nice. the 13. That's real nice. Now he's got a perfect angle on the combination. He can get. He can take the three off now and get even better on the combination. Because <clears throat> I believe when he plays the combination, the next shot will be the second the, the second combination ball. In this case, it's going to be five, then the six in the same pocket <clears throat> before he goes and takes care of the four, seven. <clears throat> Back to 
bad, like bad angle. Yeah. Bad angle. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and he got really goofy here. You know. He might have to go hit the nine with a lot of right spin and spin out and have to take the two ball next. Or oh, he might try to shoot you the, like oh. this, like at the four and six. Oh, yeah. a little <coughs> harder. But the four may go right here in the corner by yeah. this stripe. And if it goes, the seven goes. Yeah. Well, with this angle, he can go the seven in the other, in corner, the other corner. Or the yeah. other, yeah. But uh, still, by all means, wanting to not shoot the two ball now, but he can't risk missing the four. He's going to shoot the two, then the seven, then the four. Right. Two, seven, four. Straight in on the seven in this corner. Just like that. Yeah, actually even shaded it to the side Which he needed. Which is good yeah, anyway. Yeah, for sure. So the, the powers of recovery that these guys have is just, you know, it's what makes them the, the top players in the world. They can make a little position error and they can still overcome it. <clears throat> Five three and breaking and uh, the other table is in between racks now too. Ralph just got one back so he's also 5-3 down but it'll be Kevin's break. Coming up next here on the stream for you we have Bobby Cotton's favorite player, Ko Pin Yi. And who's he playing? Ko Pin? Oh. Who's he playing? Ko Pin Yi? Dynamite Darren. Oh, yes. One of my all-time favorite players and someone who I think is one of the greatest eight ball players alive. So that's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Especially uh, Co having lost his first match and Darren won his first match. He already uh, let move his score. No. Five three, right? Right. It is five three. Tell him. He probably he'll do it after he racks. I'm sure. Sounded nice and solid. Notice that for the most part, we haven't had a, hardly a lot, any clusters at all. Maybe one game that had a couple of little clusters that they wound up breaking up. But I'm shooting the most, stripes. Most of these balls are, are open and wide up. I got the stripes, you got the solids. Well, thanks, pal. Well. I'm, I'm writing notes looking down. So uh, you definitely have me at a disadvantage <laughs> when you look up and see the layout. I'd be trying to get that 13 out pretty quick. What do you think? Yeah, if he could get there now, I would go there now. If he could maybe slide between the two and the one. Or shoot this ball or in the side. Or shoot the ball in the side and Next. pull over. 
Well, that's what I would do. Right. Unless I can, you know, now this is, yeah. Perfect. I'd actually like to save the, uh, well, it depends on if the eight passes the four in the lower left. I believe it I'd, does. I'd save the 12 for the key ball. And if it doesn't, you could save the 12 or the 10 and mm -hmm. shoot the eight in the other side. But it's that, uh, it's the 14, excuse me, the 15 into the side pocket that's going to be the most tough ball to get on unless he draws back and plays it in the corner here. Uh oh. Can I believe he can make it in the side? He should have went to the I rail know. and came back. Uh, of course. Uh, is that right? Just yeah. with the rail and just bounce back towards yeah. the ball. He's very, very lucky. Yeah, I, mean, I don't you think so. I don't think he can make it. Well, let's get that right hand camera shot again, Vince. Thank you. It looks That's like he close. can make it in the side, even with a little bit of spin here. And he's drawing the cue ball, so it, it's probably clean. Yeah. And he's going to pull over, maybe I try to get sure straight in. Go and come back. Oh, I did too. Yeah. But if he pulls this over, he it's can get the, get the 12 in the side straight in. Ah, he's golden. Always ju it just seems every rack, there's just the, the, the one particular moment there with Dennis <laughs> where he threatens to get out of line and he comes ever so close to yeah. doing so and then he's got to play a little unconventional. He's going to wind up playing the 10 by the four ball. It's a little snug, but that's what he's going to have to do. Unless you're going forward with inside here all the way out. I like that better. Now you don't have to worry about a small pocket. I don't know what the problem there was. Yep. And now it looks like you better go take a look at this at this one more time, Dennis. Atta boy, before you stop the cue ball right there. I think it's going to be fine. He's so close to the eight ball, he can he can really get a good eye into the pocket, but he did elect the side. Kevin Chang. Just got out for 6-3, and it's Ralph's break. They're racking him up over there. And Dennis from 5-1 and 4-0 down, now within a rack. So the South Dakota kid had best not break dry here. Cue ball. He's corner hooked. He is corner hooked. Is he corner hooked? I'm sure he's corner hooked. <laughs> he's, I'm gonna tell you, he's been getting some goofy rolls. He really has. You know? The only thing he can shoot is about a mile away. He's got to shoot the four. Yeah. Well, he, he cut can, the six he, into the three. Well, he, yeah, he's going to cut the six if he's not if he can get any piece of it. Going to play the three ball. No, 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 yeah, he's looking at the cue ball pass. He does not want to run into the eight. So I think he's going to have to hit this with about a center ball. No more than a touch above center. Yeah, he's cueing just, just above center. Hey, I'd rather be corner hooked than be picking it up out of the pocket and handing you it to my opponent. You better believe it. Does he come close to getting knocked in there? Yeah.
deserves a good roll after that shot. That was not an easy shot. I wonder if he can make the deuce through the gap. Uh, not, not, he he got the gap, the but he doesn't have the doesn't have the corner, does he? Now they go get in there off the four, you know. He's looking at the six. I think the four is kind of well, I mean, kind of kind of narrow cut. Oh yeah, he's got to shoot the six here. Yeah. Now. I mean, get on the deuce off the four. Oh yeah, yeah, in the other pocket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he wants to play the six, then the seven, go to the four, like you said, roll down for the two, and let the five be the last ball. Now what? Oh. Look at the shot. Yeah, but was, why is he there? Where was he going? I have no idea what he was trying to do. Well, he sure wasn't going to play on the seven. Man, I think he was trying to get on the four. I think he was playing yeah. just on the four. Well, I suppose, but then he was going to have to get to the seven eventually. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he was doing either. See, now if the two doesn't pass, it's going to be tough to get back over there to play it in the other pocket. Well, he still can't get. Well, no, even if he cuts the five, he can't get there for the two. I'm wondering if he can cut the seven and drag it down to where he just put his stick because he still does want to leave the five for the key ball. But it all depends on the angle he's got on the seven. I do think he's got a little bit of a cut on the seven, though. Mm -hmm. You want to hit just past the side pocket of a diamond here. A little bit of left English. Well, he better get there on this deuce, because if he don't, he'll never get there. If he don't get there, yeah. he'll have to right. shoot the five after, you know. Perfect. Oh, he hit it sweet, Bobby. Hit the diamond yeah. with just the right amount of spin. I like I like a low right here, two rails at the five. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't oh, go yeah. forward here. Yeah, he's coming backwards. Right. Well, it must have laid just so perfect yeah. to do that, that, you know, just a high ball. You didn't have to, you didn't have to do anything. <clears throat> this is a big rack for Shane to stop Dennis's momentum a little bit. All right, Kevin's racking him up on the other table. He's uh, about halfway through the rack. Both matches are starting to get to the point where one more mistake can be the difference. Kevin is 6-3, I believe, up on Ralph, and that's correct. And now Kevin's getting ready to break, so we're over there on camera two now. Actually, 7-3, he hadn't flipped his bead, and this is pretty big. This group is gonna tighten up if everything uh, stays the way it is because then you'll have four players all one and one if uh, the results hold as they are now. Because Dennis and Ralph are the two players that were one and oh coming in and Shane and Kevin were 0 and one. Okay, Dennis is getting ready to break here. much better. 
<laughs> Look at that. Can he make a? Can he might. Be, I think he make the three ball. Maybe not. He's looking at it. He wants the solids because of the twelve. Yet the twelve goes down there, you know. So well, it, it does. But uh, once he got to shoot for stripes, he'd have to play the three thirteen if he wants stripes. Yeah, yeah. Which is not all that difficult. But getting on that twelve in that pocket doesn't look that easy, Bobby. No. It no, it doesn't. I don't know if the 13 go. Yeah, I, is the 13 down here go by the deuce? The 13's in the upper left corner. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm at the. The 12? Yeah. The 12 doesn't pass I mean, the. I, I was looking at that ball there. That, those are two solids. That's the five and the deuce. No, there's, the, 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 there's two stripes on the right I hand see rail. It. Right. I see it. I'm but going neither. Maybe, may, maybe the 15, which is the stripe in front of the lower right pocket, could get you to the 12. But the problem with this, if he plays the, the 313, of course, he's got to just hit it hard enough to get thir the three ball away from the cushion, mm -hmm. and that shouldn't be a problem. It's kind of a thin cut. But that's what he's got to do. It's either the combination here or he's cutting the three in. Taking a lot of time here, as he should. Now he's going to shoot the six ball because it's the only easy ball he's got. And that gives him solids, which really isn't a bad group to take. If the three goes. Well, I think he probably made that decision before he shot that six ball. Mm -hmm. At best, Bobby, it goes off the cushion off the 13. Yeah, yeah. Which is a hanger, you know? Well, yeah, you just got to get, get there. The, yeah. And the four gets you there. He wants to shoot the two. I don't think the five goes. I think he's got to shoot the two first. Shoots this in, if you get back over, shoot the two next. If he shoots the seven first. <clears throat> well, now he's looking at the three, the other pocket, so that means it definitely doesn't go cleanly past the 13. Well, five, five, seven. I would not leave the three to the last that ball. That looks like it's what he's doing. I know he must. It, it, it must be deceivingly Easy. easier than we see it. I mean, if it goes between the gap of the eleven and the ten, 
then it's a stop shot. You play the eight in the side, and I can see it being the last ball. But if this got a, if he's got to slide behind that thirteen, that was a bad, you know. Sure. It must. It must. Well, he's he's what he's doing. Well, and that's okay. I mean, as long as as long as uh, he can get real good, and he did. Now you can't hit this too hard. But top you, right, a bit yeah, top. and you want to get the cue ball like right where the three ball is. I'm just going to catch this about a quarter of the 13, and hope the 13 stops. <laughs> nice out. Yeah. Good. Required a lot of good pre-rack uh, planning there. That was a nice out. Turned out. And a lot of precision execution and a well-deserved rack number 11 to Dennis, the Robocop, 6-5. Nice out there. And back in table two, Kevin Chang looking to get on the hill, playing stripes, I think. Got just a little congestion by the foot spot, as you can see, but looks like both those stripes have pockets. And he's obviously playing well to be four games up on Hall of Famer Ralph Suquet. Jason's playing on, isn't he today? Yeah, later. Um, it's like a money a, match, though. It's not a, he can't go through. He's playing at 5 o'clock. I believe he's 0-2. Yeah, he can't go through. No. No, uh, he had a meltdown there yesterday. Remember to... He opened up yesterday playing Mike, and that's when we had those uh, uh, soft break games. And then... Um, forget who he played. I can take a quick look here. I thought it was maybe one of the Coes. Yeah, he played uh, the younger brother last night and lost 9-6. to six. So he's 0-2. He can't get through the group. Kevin's still at the table over there. Looks like he's got one stripe and the eight ball left. Maybe two to get on the hill. Yeah, one more, one more stripe for Kevin, and then the eight. Meanwhile, Shane needs to get out here to hold his advantage. Kevin Cheng is on the hill against Ralph Suquet, eight to three. And it's Ralph's break coming up. I would have lost money on that match. Yeah, I would have I bet on Ralph.
lose control there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Doesn't want to move the one if he doesn't have to. Good shot. And he's going to shoot the deuce now because it's got the natural angle to go to the three. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boy, boy. God, that's a big. Oh, that's major. A major blunder. Major mistake there. Can you believe he missed that ball? Didn't even cut the ball. No, and he hit it with a good enough speed. It didn't skid or anything. No, he, yeah, he, he just didn't. he just flat out missed his missed his contact point. He just hit it fat. Well, Dennis is going to make him pay for that. You can't give a guy like this more than one or two easy opportunities. And with Ralph probably likely to lose over there, trailing 8-3, if somehow Dennis can steal this match from Shane from 4 nothing down, uh, he'll pretty well have the group locked up. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure he will because I would draw this, shoot the 14 next, get an angle, go the end rail. Mm -hmm. Got to shoot this ball and draw back, get on the 14. That's what you I know, would. Uh, he could he could shoot the f the f the 14 right now yeah. and go to the 15. Yeah. Because he's got the angle that he's not going to come anywhere near the three, and the 12 would give him like 16 different ways to get on the eight ball.
I just can't believe that Shane just missed that ball down the rail like that and let Dennis get back in the match and breaking. Wow. I would have bet a million dollars he'd have got out from there. Balls are sitting a little, a little funky here, at Ken. I don't think the five goes. This pretty much has to start with the two. Well, the five goes over where he's going to shoot the two, but it's tough to get on. <laughs> you think? <laughs> how's he going? How's he going to get back over there? That's like rip anywhere. You know, I mean, it's like. Yeah, he'd have to use the one probably to get there. Does the five pass those two strikes up there? I don't think there? so. No, he was looking at it, but I don't think it does. Because he really doesn't have a stripe to shoot. No. Unless he shoots this he one over here on the rail. The 15 or whatever yeah. that is, 14, 14. It all depends on what kind of line those other two balls are in, the 11, 9, whether if it was a makeable combination, maybe, but I'm, I, I'm with you. I think I'm he's sure. forced to shoot the two yeah. ball. <clears throat> it just be interesting to see what he plans to do with this five ball. That's the only, well, you know, this is kind of tricky. Look at the four doesn't go either down here unless he gets on the three. You know, so he's this. This is not easy. He, can he make this combination on the stripe? I don't think. I think he needs to be where the five ball is yeah, to make it. Yeah, I believe it. so. Yeah. He can't. He can't. He can't make it from where he is. Well, the four and three is sitting kind of goofy. Yeah, but there's plenty of room to make. To, well, maybe there isn't plenty He's of room. He's trying to get on the six. Yeah, and drag into the five. Yeah, he And is. then have the seven for insurance. Come up a ball short. Yep. <clears throat> What'd you get? What kind of sandwich you get? What, ham? No, because I, I had ham and eggs this morning. Uh, I got a turkey and provolone. Yeah, I had one of them big old ham. AZ billiard people want to know what we eat for lunch. Well, you know, I figured out why, Bobby, they don't want anything bad to happen to us, so they want us to stay healthy and they're, they're, they're concerned. I, I know. I love them guys. I guess this ball goes. Look. Oh, yeah, it had a mile. Now he's got to spin Well, the seven, the seven, he can slide down for the, for the three. three. And then shoot the four in the same hole. You know what I mean? Depending, back. depending on the angle, yeah. right? Depending on the angle, a little bit of low right will get him back over there. Just right. spin it. And if he had to, he could come behind it and shoot it up table where he just made that ball. The eight goes only in the side or the corner. Yeah, that's just the play. Like that's this. the place yeah. to be, and that will spin right back. There. And that'll yeah. take him right around the four. This is actually pretty simple from here. Don't let up on your stroke here. Okay, Make good. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. And you know what? We're going to have a new leader in the clubhouse from 4 nothing down. And Shane, Shane is sick. You got to go past the ball. There you go. Nice shot. Nice speed. Yeah. <coughs> one rail here. Straight back up. Yeah, one rail. Yes. Just go a little bit past it. Perfect. Nice out, Dennis. What 
was the score at one time? Was it four to one? It was four, four to nothing. Four to nothing. Yeah. Man, I mean, Matt, <clears throat> four to nothing. And it was five to two, and Shane had a chance to go six two, and he didn't. This is gigantic here on this break. If he just if he don't move <coughs> the ball here, he better get out. If he doesn't win this rack, I don't think he's winning another game. Let's see what Watch happens. where the eight goes. Watch, look at that eight cover the five ball up. He may uh -huh. have to take solids just to get that out of there and play the 14, eight, five. Playing at a bar league. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's got to play the carom, stripe eight five, or cut it in, cut the stripe into the eight five. You can't win the game unless you move the five right now. Well, the stripes are hanging. If he makes yeah. it five, I mean, the stripes are hanging. Yeah, but he's he's got to play solids. He's got to make the five. Well, how can he not? How can he miss it? He can't miss it. But I'm saying he had to take that group because oh, yeah. of the five ball. And if the he, one, couldn't, he couldn't win. The and after that, they need, look at this. It's connect the dots, right? Uh, pretty much. Uh, the four is the only thing tricky. He would show if he can spear this and get to it right now. Now's the time to do it. That's a good stroke. But it's hard to do. He's really not ideal, but he's got to shoot the four right now. He'll never get a better shot at it. Mm -mm. Just slide it in the side, come across for the one. Don't need to hit anything. Well, he did what he had to do there, Cotton, yep. but it may not be enough because Dennis has got the break in the odd games, and we're now at a race to two.
Well, the all-important break here for Dennis. He can't afford a dry break or a scratch. One ball. Boy, they're sitting good to bring this. I like, kind of like the solids. Oh, in, yeah. in, as long as uh, he can get to that five ball. That's the, that's the only ball that's the problem. Yeah, it doesn't pass some other balls, but he's got a. Thank you. They want to move the rack. Thank you, Steve. This five doesn't go in the right corner, so I don't know how he's going to maneuver around here. Then. Does the five go in the lower right? Mm -mm. So he's got to have to, I don't know how he's going to get on this five. Well, let's take a look at the stripes just for the heck of it. But he doesn't really have a stripe to shoot. No. Does he? No, he's got no stripe to shoot. He could shoot the nine five combination. Yeah, that's it's a tough shot, it, it is a tough shot. Yeah, he'll never shoot that. I mean, if he misses it. <coughs> right. It's over. I mean, it's 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 game yeah, game ball. Sure. Game. Yeah, yeah. I know. I understand. Look at this. He's shooting ten. Well, so. that's the only stripe he can probably pocket. But I wouldn't want to. I'd rather shoot the nine five before I shot the ten ball, because I'm close. <clears throat> Plus, I'm going to have a shot at the six or the four or the deuce. This is where know. this is where eight ball games are won or lost, Bobby. Right here, picking your group, picking your pattern, looking around at all the possibilities, planning your play. I mean, it's a lot going on in your head right now. If but he this is shoot the six and roll up like a ball. He could still cut that five in. Yeah, but then he's running into the thirteen, and he's got to run into it. Insurance. He's got to run into it thin, right? <clears throat> But I don't think he can do that. I think he's cutting the six too much to his right. Yeah, I can't really tell. He'd, he'd have to bring it up table like a foot and take the thin cut on the five from the middle of the table. <clears throat> that's, see, that's what he's looking at is, is, is shooting the five next. Well, actually, he's going to get on the six to get better on the five. He, he wants a straight in shot on the six so he can play a stop in, shot. And maybe run into the five. Into the nine, I mean, and just bump the nine. Just no, bam. I don't. I think he all along was playing for a stop shot. Or maybe look, roll past it if he, if he can get over there. If he goes past 11, maybe the five goes. That's what he's doing. He's going past the 11. It looks like an awful small window it there, does, doesn't don't it? it? Like that, like about a ball. I'd rather stop and shoot it from here. I would too. Because you know you can make it from here. But, but it, does, up. it does look like he's going forward, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, he's rolling up. Okay. Well, I think he had a bigger window than we can Probably so. We Probably so. Yeah. And I guess the eight goes in this bottom right corner. Uh, it does. You just can't hit the 12 here. And if yeah. you do, you just got to hit it on the f on the top side. Because if even if he's on the rail, he can shoot two in the corner. I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be concerned about shooting the two next anyway. I, I'd want to come over here and get the three and the seven out of there if and I let could. the two be the key ball. If I could, sure. Yeah. 
Can he, if he can miss the 12 and come across the center table, three, six, deuce. Three, six deuce, right? That's, that's the pattern. A, that's the pattern because look at this. Yeah, I knew we had to hit the 12. Look and this. look what he did to the two ball. Boy, he, he put got the two. real lucky, though, to get this good. He did get lucky. He got lucky that he got a shot. He's got lucky the 14's not covering the seven. And he's lucky that he didn't just freeze a two on the point. Exactly. It's going to be a little easier to play now because it's off the rail and it'll actually go in either half? corner. It's a good half inch off the cushion, I think. Yeah, I think he's going to shoot the three, six, and shoot the deuce in this bottom left. All right, shoot the deuce in the bottom left corner, I believe. I actually think he's going to shoot the two upstream. How's he going to get over there? Well, that's the uh, that's the, that's that's true. He can't he get can't, over there. No, he's got to come back. I now. Mean, that You're was right. the yeah. ideal. Yeah. But he's got to draw this all the way back, past the side, spin up, you know, spin. Yeah. Low left. If he'd have had a wider angle. Shorter, yeah. Then he comes around. He could have went behind that 14. Right. This is tr this is tough here. Gotta you got to hit the ball kind of full here too, so yeah. you widen your angle out. Right, 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 right. Because you want to kind of you want to kind of target the the, the middle, middle diamond. Middle diamond, uh -huh. right. That's a big giant game here, buddy. <laughs> you don't know. Kidding? I mean, your whole future in the tournament can hinge on this rack. On this one shot. Oh boy, he hit it perfect too. Look at this shot, will you? <laughs> How good did he hit it, huh? Beautiful. Like a champion. Hit that ball sweet. Perfect speed. He the eight goes in both corners, so yeah, this is just whatever, you know, it looks like lag speed here. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something, he hit that he hit that ball against the rail like Superman. That was a terrific out. That now he's on the shot. hill. Yes. This nice is out. well. This is the second match in a row that Shane's played in the eight-ball division, where he had an early lead, as he did against Ralph for a while. Then he fell behind. What a nice His shot! His opponent got made. to the hill first, and now he's scratching and clawing to force a case game. And then Dennis is breaking on the hill. That's right. And Shane was in control. Four nothing. Five one. Four nothing. Five one. Five oh, one. Be five two. Five three. Five four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Six four. Yeah. Then it was six six, and then Dennis pulled ahead seven six, and here it is. Hill seven. And the South Dakota kid is breaking for his life. Solid. Yeah. Probably got to shoot the three to get going here. Mm -hmm. One gets you to the two. Five go by the nine. Clear. Does Everything the five go by the nine? Yep. All right. And this uh, seven up here in the lower left, you spin play that, you go around, you spin into the two stripes, yeah, and, and then you shoot, the the, you shoot the six and the eight. Those, those should be his last two balls. I like that, yeah. There's no way to mess it up when you hit the 13. Right. Or in, it'll split them. Yeah. This is he hard. Yeah, he may go to the five here. He might even go to the four. Four one, but he couldn't quite get over there. But it's okay. He's got, he's got time to do it. I don't think he can get to the one. He's got to shoot the five. Well, he can make the one right now. I think he's uh, shoot the two he's going to go either into the nine or over and back. I like this. 
and that's nice too because he can uh, he can actually go to the four from here and leave himself the angle to get to the center of the table for the seven. I don't think I think you've got to go to the four next. I mean, uh, maybe not, but I think so. Yeah, I believe so. Got to hit this kind of full. No good. Look at this. Look at this. He caught the ball too heavy. Look at this. I mean, he caught it too thin. He didn't catch it heavy enough. He's lucky. He can He's still lucky. make the seven. <coughs> can he? I think. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I guess he can, or he'd be. Having a little different expression on his face. Just a stop shot, I think. Right? Yeah. Now he's. Looks like he's got the angle to punch above the side. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have one rack to see what happens. Does he play again tonight if he wins? No, I think he's done till tomorrow. Well, to score, I think he is. If he wins, he'll be 1 1. Yeah, he's in Group C. He will be at the 11 a.m. round tomorrow, but if he don't win this match right here against Dennis, it's it's meaningless because I think that'll lock the group up for Dennis. But if Shane wins this match, all four guys are one and one going into tomorrow, and then it's going to be a question of who beat who because two guys will be two and one, and two guys will be one and two. And then it'll definitely come down to the tiebreaker on head to head. So we're going to have one rack here to see what happens. It's been a uh, an interesting match, Bobby. Uh, a few a few blunders that we certainly wouldn't have expected, and a lot of terrific outs uh, when they were needed most. And a lot of unconventional outs, too, you know? I mean, the balls were laying in several racks in ways where there was just no clear, mm -hmm. easy path. Well, this is the biggest break here of this match right here. You've got to make a ball and, and uh, get a shot. <sighs> well, the first thing you got to do is not scratch. The yes. second thing you want to do is make a ball. Third thing you want to do is run them out. So in that order, don't scratch, make a ball, and run them out. Are you getting ready to play the next round? Yeah, he's coming up right here. Who is he uh, playing? He's playing out there against John Moore on the oh, other table. Okay. And... Uh, and Bustamani won his first match, and John didn't. And Darren won his first match, and uh, Copigny didn't. So it's basically the same situation as this group. Two guys are 1-0, and oh, two guys are 0-1. Oh they all could be 1-1, one and one, or the group could be almost locked up after this next round. Well, let's sweat this break. You betcha. Second hill hill match for Shane. Nine in the side, no. Nothing. Dry. Open. And the solids are hanging. Solids look great. Look at this. <clears throat> okay, Shane's gonna take a quick time out here. The solids are hanging, look. One, four, everything's hanging.
Okay, folks. This is it. Well, these One balls. game to see whether Dennis gets a stranglehold on the group or all four guys are one and one. Yes. And look at the balls are hanging. The only ball that's trouble the ball. Tell me he's gonna think about shooting those. Well, well I think the, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking the one, four, eight is Maybe the last three. He's taking the stripes. No. Is he? I guess so. Total <coughs> wrong. This, this Not is necessarily. Well, I mean. The four, these two balls don't go down here, do they? The 14, 10. They look like they're locked up to me. They go in the right-hand corner. They must. I believe he would he never shoot this if they didn't go. I don't think you could have picked a, a, a bad group here. I think this is personal preference. Yeah, I, I think he's shooting. he's going around the one now. Oh boy, was that close to grazing that thing, mm -hmm. and then he was going to be dead meat. Mm -hmm. well, he's good now if he clears these two balls. It's it, nine, boom, boom. Sure, and the 13 is the last ball. Clear these two, 9 12. And the taste got thir 13 here. stop. Oh, yeah. yeah he's but he doesn't want to move the 8. He's just going to drag it to pass the 8 about a foot. Now he'll miss the 4, go down the middle of the table, play the 9 next. What a break. He broke the ball and nothing falls. Break the ball and nothing goes. Yeah. It's a <coughs> it's not always a fair way to decide things. You know, it's almost like if you get to Hill Hill, they ought to have a rule that each guy gets a chance to break and run. And the first guy that fails to do it loses. Now you hate to see a guy lose a game, a match because he didn't make a ball on the break. Well, it's just nine ball. I mean, uh, what about a guy who makes the nine on the break hill hill? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's 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 worse. But then to break dry and leave a pair of road maps, either group, you know. Well. For drama and excitement, by Shane winning, it uh, it makes all four guys one and one in the group. Can Dennis still go through? Well, yeah. Just a couple of minutes of three, folks. Uh, figure uh, about 10 minutes from now, we will start both of our 3 p.m. matches. We'll be back in 10. <laughs>